All right, hey Aries. So I'm just doing a general overview for January as we step into the new year. I decided I'm gonna be more on top of my game. So um, every start of the month, I'm gonna be putting out general reads and the reads are gonna have everything to do with the moon phases, okay? So um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull collective energy and the cause. And even though everybody is going through something different, the energy, feelings, and emotions are going to be the same. So somebody could be dealing with a breakup or a love thing, and the other person, another person could be dealing with something from work, something familial, a friendship thing. So what I'm going to do is we're going to start with the collective energy, check your other placements if this is not resonating with you. And if you're new, you guys, I do hope that you subscribe if you like my energy. All right, so... Um, what do we got? You got your moon card coming through, the two of cups and the nine of coins. This card coming through in reverse doesn't have to mean anything huge when it comes to um, um, not on the receiving end of a wish fulfillment. Um, you got your moon card. That has everything to do with um, intuition, imagination, memory. The nine of pentacles is a very, very highly independent card. Um, and it could be too that you're just kind of uh, daydreaming or night dreaming or having dreams about coming out of like single. Um, if you guys are single, like coming out of singleness, um, it could be too that you're kind of having some revelations on somebody who didn't treat you right. Okay. Because the opposite, when this comes in the reverse, that just means that somebody took advantage of you. Okay. And I feel like the two of cups is coming through because it, there's a strong desire to kind of communicate through whatever it is that you guys are holding on to or hanging on to. Um, at this point in your life. Um, other than that, I, the only other way I could see this um, is a strong desire to come out of, uh, again, that single um, independent, you know, um, you got like a strong sense of self, right? You got your king of wands showing up here and it's fine. It's fine to do everything on your own. It's fine to be strong and independent. Um, but just because you want to be strong and independent doesn't mean that you wouldn't or don't want to, um, have somebody on team Aries, right? Um, I feel like this is, it, it's very, very broad. So let's see what the cause of this energy is. You got your seven of swords coming through your seven of wands and the nine of wands, the seven, seven, sevens are all over the place. Sevens and nines. Um, so this right here, this, so the seven of swords is somebody who has done you wrong outright done you wrong. Okay. You have your walls put up um, uh, between you and this person, this situation. And I feel like right now, um, yeah, somebody did take advantage of you, uh, your kindness, you know, and now it's all about protecting yourself, protecting your energy, protecting your peace. Okay. It doesn't mean that you do not want to communicate with this energy, um, that, that, uh, um, has done something. Okay. But you got your seven of pentacles and that says that, that you, there's a healing, a strong desire for healing that, that you want. Okay. Um, I, I feel like, um, the seven of pentacles, it's like, oh gosh, I, it's, you want to reconcile it, but also as to at what point do you, uh, put your foot down and say, no, they can come to me. I really feel like this could be very, very broad. Um, I feel like you hold a lot of love and compassion for the energy that's, or the situation that's coming through here. But, um, you also got to put your foot down or if they want to heal and, and repair, um, they can come to me, right? So that's kind of what I see the current energy is. But as we move through January, you guys, let's just go through the moon phases and see what's coming through most prominent. The full moon starts on January 6th, okay? Full moons are all about releasing. Um, you got the prosperity lies ahead with the new moon and Taurus coming through. Um, so I can only assume or imagine that that prosperity lying ahead has everything to do with what you can release from this situation. Um, and even that, that just means energetically, you don't have to physically connect or contact anyone. Okay. You got your star card coming through your knight of cups. And then we got the five of cups. So when it comes to releasing, what you need to do is not hold on to any resentments, any anger, any frustration, any pain um, from whatever it is that you guys are dealing with. And I feel like once you can release that, what happens is, is your messenger comes through, um, you know, be on the, the side of love, emotional balance, emotional stability, and just kind of recognize, you know, that um, when you move out of the moodiness when you move away from the emotional manipulators, when you take a stand for yourself, you guys start to see um, a positive, positive changes happen. Um, so, uh, you know, it's like this on the full moon. If you can release whatever it was that kind of um, trialed this situation, 
you're on the receiving end of a positive shift forward. Okay, so that comes through with the uh, full moon. Um, with the first quarter moon, that is obstacles and decisions that lie ahead. So let's see what comes through for you. Obstacles and decisions. You got your, um, you, what do we have? The new moon in Aries. It's time to take action. All right, that is a decision card. I, I really feel like that is a full decision card. So let's see what this action is all about. You got your Hierophant card coming through. All right, you have the Queen of Wands. That, that is all about standing up for yourself. You got your Eight of Wands also. So with the um, decisions, so I feel like the decision to kind of stick to your guns, um, if you guys have been one that has always caved, you know, to the other party, you caved to the other side of things, I feel like the Hierophant, that card represents stability, order, and rules. And I feel like when you take that stand for yourself, you make that decision, um, you're going to start to see things change in big ways, but it's not just with this one connection um, or this one thing. I feel like the, this is going to, um, it's going, it's going to branch out. So in all areas and facets, um, if you guys have always been on the, the end of um, caving to other people's needs or catering to other people's needs, wants, and desires, um, I, I I feel like telling you no, no more, okay? It's time for you to, to think about you first, to put you first, okay? Um, if you look at this, like these um, cards, it's all new energy, and I feel like that's what you're going to experience throughout January, all right? With the um, a new moon card coming through, the new moon card, the new moon coming through, that's all about new energy. So that's new energy that will be entering your your um, existence. You got your dreams need a practical plan with the full moon and Taurus. All right. Um, you know, and that card, the fact that that card is coming through says that around the new moon, when that steps in. Um, there's going to be something that needs to be released in order to call in the new energy that you're trying to manifest here. Okay. Um, you got your 10 of wands. Um, look at this, this coming through in reverse. It's almost like, Hey, again, I have to repeat. I feel like you guys are so used to, to giving and doing what everybody else wants. Um, that new energy is not going to enter the, the switch is not going to happen. All right, it's time to let go. Um, it's time for you to allow other people to make moves and transitions that suit you. All right, and and when you do, you start to see and reap new new beginnings. Especially if you guys are making emotional connections. All right, I feel like what you're being told right here on the practical plan. Um, you know, if I if I approach this person and I say this, that, and the third, if I approach this person, I do this, that, and the other. Um, you know, I, I feel like um, that's kind of where um, there's something that is amiss. Okay, um, you don't have to try so hard. You you shouldn't have to carry everything. It's almost like when you disconnect yourself and you you take a stand for who you are and what you represent in life, um, things highly start to shift in your favor. I feel like that is going to be on a, you know a romance, friends, family. Um, when people see that you're you're sticking up for yourself, you're taking a stand for yourself. Um, there's there's a shift that you imply energetically that they need to make um hey you got to improve your stuff before you come to me from now on right um especially if you guys are kind of used to um having people kind of overrun you over speak you and just kind of um it's and i don't want to say it's on purpose but i almost feel like one up you no um you don't got to be mean. You don't have to be rude, but I definitely feel like it's, it's somebody else's turn to approach you um, because you've already done enough for, for whatever it is that's happening in your life. You've already done enough for this connection. Um, allow it to flow from you. And I feel like when you let it flow from you, you start to see bigger um, changes come through. Okay. The last quarter moon is the changes that you can make to stay on track. So the changes you can make in life now to stay on track, a personal itch issue, itch you, a personal issue reaches resolution. <laughs> Look at that. It's like boom, 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 boom. Okay. You take a stand for yourself. So you're not all, you're not, it's like, okay, yeah, you know what? They can come to me moving forward. And, and you can say that with love in your heart. A personal, um, a personal issue reaches resolution. Yeah. You got your eight of coins coming through. So let's just see, continue to work for yourself on yourself. You guys continue to just kind of abide by this new 
this new unspoken rule. You got the eight of pentacles, okay? You have the strength card and you have the magician card. So you guys may have always been the bigger person. You may have always been the one to reach out and fix things and you're the go-to person, you know? But I feel like on the receiving end of that, when you need something or, you know, um, it, it's like, nah, it, it, that's not um, balanced energy. So I feel like the changes that you can make is to can you continue the focus on yourself and that you're going to reap your the version of your manifestation all right strength card right here tells me that you guys are just being told to trust in yourself trust in what you're being told by your intuition if your intuition is telling you um uh well really i need to stay away from this person but your head is saying maybe if i did this that and the other um things would change and improve you need to listen to your intuition first okay trust that um you listening to that is going to strengthen that and that is where you're going to start applying the changes to um everything that if you embark or encounter moving forward. All right. So the lunar return, um, you guys want to look up the, the moon and Aries for January, 2023, the moon and Aries will bring um, potential to unlock and grow your own magic and strengthen, um, you know, the sleeping parts of the brain. How that happens is on your lunar return, once a month, um, in the back of the brain, an oil um, it comes down from the back of the brain, down the spine and into the sacral chakra. When it reaches the sacral chakra, it starts to travel back up the spine and it goes back into the brain and it starts to illuminate and activate the sleeping parts of the brain. Okay. Um, that is without squandering your sexual energy. So no sex, um, no squandering your sexual energy of any kind. Put a chastity belt on it and no touchy. All right. Um, also, too, you're going to want to um, eat and drink to your version, your ideal version of what is healthy. OK, what you deem to be healthy. And with that, um, with a kind of um, implementing that again, I'm going to be doing these once a month. What you will call in, what will be activated or highlighted is letting go of urgency, surrender and freedom from time constraints. Okay, um, this right here, and I'm, I'm going to have a different Oracle set every month when I do these. Um, but I mean, this, it, it, it kind of lines up right there with the, the need to fix, the need to help. Okay, and I feel like what's going to be illuminated is the more you kind of let go and you kind of walk with your purpose and power, the more um, illumin the more illumination you're going to see that things actually do work out in your favor. Okay, and that might seem simple. It might seem small. But when you start applying all of these little tiny things big, big things start to happen. And you're going to see big, big things start to happen. Um, even with this, the sense of letting go of urgency, the urge to reach out, the urge to heal, the urge to repair and reconcile something. No, you don't have to be like that. You're also coming through with dragonfly. You bring light to this world. Okay. And I feel like, um, you know, the more you kind of implement this language right here, that's coming through and the more you share with other people, the bigger you're going to be able to help others and plant others, you know, uh, the seeds. So these small little changes that you're going to see or that you implement, you're going to see big rewards on the other side of that. So the full month ahead for you guys, you got your three of pentacles, you got your queen of pentacles, the full month ahead for you guys. Look at that um, transformation, changing the way we think, um, you know, not having a big old emphasis on what the outcome has to be all right your the highlight of um, january for you is all about transformation and rebirth taking care of yourself first all right um if people aren't on your team it's time to start building with yourself um you know exclude these people if, they, if, if take your yourself away from those energies that deduct 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 um it might hurt to lose them but i feel like that loss is very very temporary okay you got your queen of pentacles um, coming through also, which um, is a card that highlights financial um, stability, um, balancing work, home, self-care, self-love, nurture, and being very, very practical. All right. So I'm going to leave it there. Aries, you guys have a good month. Take care.